Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Some troublesome findings came out of a recent audit by the Office of Public Accountability into the Festival of Pacific Arts. First on the list of concerns is a $1.1 million shortfall. The shortfall, uh, which really is, you know, that's kind of the biggest thing that we're facing right now. FESPAC Communications Director Oya Nirarique said with only one month left, the organizing committee is creating draft legislation and going to the legislature for help. The bill would appropriate $1.5 million to FESPAC committee. But that was just the beginning. The report also found that the procurement of the design, build and construction of 34 concrete huts at the Festival Village amounting to $2.2 million violated Guam procurement law. This is because it failed to undergo review by the Attorney General's office. Unfortunately, with the huts, you know, there was some miscommunication. We have been working with the um, Office of the Attorney General um, to get that fixed. A 10% change order that increased the contract from $1.9 to $2.2 million also failed to receive authorization from the AG. Audit Supervisor Rodolin Gerardo. If they're going to do um, like a change order, a modification that exceeds 10%, they're required to um, get an AG approval. Furthermore, the RFP packet was incomplete and did not include basic documents such as the offeror's business license. Next on the list of concerns was the $800,000 contract for event management services. Not only was it capped requiring the assistance of the Guam Visitors Bureau, but the contract did not specify how the contractor would be paid. Of the $800,000, about $360,000 would be um, would be for the fee, the event manager's fee. And so, but again, so our question was still, well, you need to at least have some kind of breakdown, you know, how is that going to be paid? Low scores for one offer were also unexplained. When you look at the evaluation itself, it doesn't, it doesn't give you, um, it only gives you the score, the numerical score, but it doesn't give you like a write-up of why you know what what were the evaluation committee members thinking and so that's the part where because it wasn't documented on there and so that's part of the reason why we felt like you know just to kind of bring it up that hey we don't know why this this offer would have gotten a low score the multi-year contract also has options to renew for an additional two years if the intent of this is for FESPAC, then really keep it for FESPAC. but the way it's worded kind of leaves it open for interpretation. A list of recommendations were provided to assist the organizing committee with a post-event audit. We're glad that they raised those, those issues um, because then it gave us an opportunity to address them. But we're just going to keep pushing forward and we're going to do our very best to make sure that you know Guam can, can stand proud um, as the 2016 host of Festival of Pacific Arts. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Issa Baza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.